watching radio fixes in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix windows 11 or windows 10 stuck on attempting repairs on the restart if your windows 11 or windows 10 pc is stuck on attempting repairs commonly known as an automatic repair loop there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved now the first step to resolve this issue is to force restart and enter recovery option force shut down your computer holding the power button two to three times during the attempting repairs screen to trigger the windows recovery environment on reboot you should see preparing automatic repair or advanced option once you're on this option you will have to go ahead and click on advanced option under advanced option you can choose command prompt this should open the command prompt window once you're on the command prompt window you will have to start executing these commands one by one i will also mention these command in the video description the first command what you will have to go ahead and execute is sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter to execute the command this will begin the verification phase for system scan once the verification is complete, the next command what you will have to go and execute is boot rec space fix mgr. Now the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is boot rec space forward slash fix mbr. Hit enter to execute this command. Once this command has been successfully executed, the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is boot sect space forward slash nt60 sys once this command has been successfully executed the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is boot rec space forward slash fix boot you would get a message saying that the operation is completed successfully once this command is executed the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd you will have to wait until this command has been successfully executed once this command has been executed you would see an option or a message saying that add installation to boot list you may go ahead and type y and hit enter once this is done, the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space c colon. This will run through the couple of stages. You will have to wait until this command has been successfully executed. Once all this command or stages are completed, you would get a, a prompt with saying system32. Once you find that listed you will have to go ahead and type exit and that should take you to the advanced boot option under this you may go ahead and click on continue wait for your computer to restart and once your computer restart you should be able to start using your computer so this is how you can go ahead and fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.